Welcome to Ground Lesson 9. Today we'll talk about what makes an airplane turn. As you're probably already aware, we turn the airplane by rolling or banking it on the longitudinal axis. Remember, we roll the airplane with ailerons by rotating the yoke right or left. If you have a control stick instead of a yoke, these will simply be left or right movements. Let's talk about how that works for just a second. When we rotate the yoke to the left, it raises the left aileron and lowers the right aileron. The lowered aileron will create more lift and it will cause that wing to rise. Then if you rotate the yoke in the opposite direction, the other aileron will lower and cause a roll in the opposite direction. Want to know a cool way to remember that? Grip the yoke with both hands and stick both thumbs in the air. Your thumbs will point to the raised aileron. Remember, thumbs up, ailerons up. Now let's talk about something that may be important for the written test. Anytime our airplane is in straight and level flight, any lift that's produced will be straight up and down. We call this vertical lift. But if we roll our airplane one direction or the other, not all the lift will be vertical anymore. Some of the lift will move laterally. We call this the horizontal component of lift. The horizontal component of lift is what makes our airplane turn. This may be very important for you to remember. But if I turn the airplane using bank, why do I need the rudder pedals to yaw the aircraft? Let's take a quick look. When we roll or bank our airplane, not only will that lowered aileron produce more lift, but it will also produce more drag. This will make our airplane yaw in the direction of that lowered aileron. When this happens, then the nose of the airplane tries to point itself away from the airplane's direction of travel. We call this adverse yaw. Because adverse yaw can happen anytime you're using the ailerons, it can occur when you're turning in or out of a turn. Because of that, the airplane can develop a slip where the nose is trying to travel the opposite direction of the turn, or it can develop a skid where there's too much yaw in the direction of the turn. Either way, we can fix the problem by pressing the rudder pedal on the side where the ball is displaced. In other words, to correct for adverse yaw, step on the ball. For more free study material on this subject, be sure to check out these two books. You can download digital copies from the FAA's website for free, or you can grab a cheap paperback copy from Amazon. Put both links in the description below.